BMW has gone and done it again. They released a very, very polarizing concept car, and this is called the Vision Circular Concept. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about why I really like this design. I've seen so much dislike towards this design, but when you look at it, it's actually a very, very cool BMW. And we're gonna jump into Photoshop, I'm gonna talk about the front, the side and the rear, and also some of the challenges that BMW have when creating a design like this. The cool thing about this design here is that the trademark BMW design features are back. The Hofmeister, the front graphics, the rear view stance of the car, and I'll point all of this out in detail once we jump into Photoshop. And these are features that I've been missing in the last iterations of BMW concept cars and also in their production cars. So this is a step, in my opinion, in the right directions. And these features are all there. However, in the vision circular concept here, they're, they're designed in a more product design approach, but that's okay because of the package of this car and who the target audience is for this specific car. So many people dislike this design, as I said, but I'm a fan of this BMW. I think it's a refreshing step towards implementing the traditional BMW design language and features onto a completely new volume and package right here. So the front fender here, this is really cool. The front fender and the door, they're all made from al aluminum. However, the rear fender is made of steel. And what's really cool about that surface is this, the, the surface treatment. It's been treated with high temperature and heat to give it a smooth, beautiful transition between the anodized aluminum in the front and the side to the blue tone steel in the rear end. I think it's a very cool idea and a new approach to how you can use surfaces, car surfaces, without using any paint. It reminds me of the blue coloring that you get at the very end of the exhaust pipe that is caused, of course, by extreme heat. Let's jump into Photoshop here and let's talk about this design. I think this overall proportions of the car, it's a brand new style for BMW, something that we're not really used to because we have the big wheels in very far out in each corner of the car. And this is, of course, an electric car, which means that you can use use the, the volume and, to, and take advantage of the package to the max because we don't have an engine in the front. So that means that the greenhouse can be very large and stretched out throughout the entire car. What I like about this front end is that we don't have the kidneys of the iX, for example, or the new M3 and the M4, which some people still think looks pretty bad and I'm one of them. I think this approach to the, the kidney integration is a lot cooler and also of course a lot cleaner. So what we have in the front here, we have the traditional BMW design right here, obviously in these kidneys right here. But on top of that, instead of having like a chrome uh, trim piece going around it, BMW decided to use less material for this car. That's the whole point of this car, recycled material and creating more with the less material. So instead of using a trim piece that goes around these grills, they took advantage of the use of light. And you have these panels or basically massive LED panels. So on top of having the traditional BMW grill right here with two kidneys stretching horizontally now and not vertically, which I think is a good idea. We also have the traditional angel eyes. We have the two, two separate headlights in the front end and those are also created by LEDs right here. So these two headlights in combination with the, the uh, stretched out horizontal grills I think the front end of this actually looks cool and it looks like an approach where you can kind of imagine some other uh, versions of this in some other packages using this type of graphics in the front. And of course, to have the uh, traditional chrome bars in the grill, we're using light here as well to create that. So if we look at the side view here, same kind of approach to the trim piece that goes around the window. Instead of having a chrome piece that goes around here, BMW decided to use the light. And the same thing here, we have sort of a, a display here that creates creates the traditional BMW graphic around the window. And of course, the Hofmeister kink right here is back. And I'm really happy about that. We didn't, we, we lost it in the BMW M4. We lost it in the iX and we lost it in uh, the regular four series as well. So I'm glad that it's back here now and they're taking advantage of, of their old design features to create more of an identity, specifically when you have 
a package that looks like this. One single line stretching all the way down here and it gives it this forward motion when you look at it in a side view. Sketching up a dynamic looking little city car like this is not easy because basically you have just a block like this. The lines can't really stretch out and become beautiful and sweeping all over the car. On the opposite end, if we work to sketch out a, a sports car, it's very easy to create a sports car uh, and make it look beautiful because we have such long lines here in, in the overall proportions of the car that making a sports car look beautiful, it's super simple and easy, but it's not easy to have a package like this looking dynamic and uh, like it's actually moving when it's standing still. And I think actually BMW pulled it off with this design right here. I think this actually looks like it's moving forward. And if you want to learn more about proportions and different type of packages and how to sketch them, not just cars, but also products, check out my course Analog Designer Pro Pack down in the description. It's 11 hour bundle of all my best selling courses over several years. And I think it's going to help you out if you're interested in learning how to sketch. It's all on the sketchmonkey.com or linked down below in the description. We have to talk about this surface treatment right here. I think it's such a beautiful approach to how, how can we add color to the surfacing of the car without using paint. So this is anodized aluminum right here all the way up until this point. So this part where the blue starts to fade in, this is treated with heat and it creates this very interesting transition between the blue going into the, the kind of brownish, I would say, anodized aluminum in the front. And it, it looks very cool. This is something I would love to see on other cars and more cars being uh, treated like this and come up with new styles of adding some texture and color onto the body without using paint. So let's have a look at the rear view. I think this is probably the best view for the BMW. We still have this traditional BMW C-pillar right here with the Hofmeister right there. We also have a, a little hint of a shoulder line right here over the rear fender, which I think is perfect. It suits this car. It doesn't have to be super sharp. Maybe I would like to see this be a little more sharper, but at the same time, it's an electric concept. We need to keep the sharpness and sharper lines down to a minimum to reduce drag, I totally understand that. But at the same time, I think this looks a lot better than a lot of the bubbly cars that come out right now that are EVs. This actually has some, some unique styling to it. And looking at it from a straight rear view, we can see that these fenders here, they actually stick out further than you think. And it creates this traditional BMW plantedness that I've been missing for so long, for five or six years from BMW. I think this little car actually has a lot of that going for it. In addition to the rear graphics right here, which I assume is customizable and changes uh, different uh, uh, different patterns of the lighting. And it looks like it's it, it, it has a similar design to it as we have in the front right here. A lot of lighting going on instead of using different trim pieces and adding more pieces onto the car. On top of that, if we zoom in to this logo here, it's actually milled out of the aluminum. So it's not an, an, an extra piece, which I think looks really good as well. On, on the interior, there's a lot going on on the interior. I'm not going to focus on that in this video. I'm a fan of what they did to the interior. However, I would like to see a little less um, uh, colors and a little toned down on the interior, but that's just my personal taste. It's a cool design and overall I think this is, as I said, a right direction for BMW because they, as I said before, they, I think they're just throwing stuff on the wall to see what kind of sticks and they're, they're playing hard now with different kinds of designs and, and specifically concepts. We've seen a lot of concepts before. For example, I'm, I, as I've said a thousand times before, I'm not a fan at all of the BMW iX. I think it's just a, a, a mess of a design and it looks like a you know, hundred designers did that car all together while they were arguing about, <laughs> about shapes and stuff. It's not my cup of tea, but this, this looks more, it looks more refined and it looks like it knows what it wants to do and it knows what it wants to be because we have a connection from the front to the side and to the rear, which is completely lacking in the BMW iX, for example. Let me know what you think about this. If this actually made some difference in your opinion, looking at this car specifically from the side view, I think they did a fantastic job creating this raked look, look uh, like it's moving forward. And fantastic job by BMW. And I'm really looking forward to see where this type of direction is going to take BMW.